Hello again. My name is Washington Wedderburn, and I'm a product manager for Ansys' digital mission engineering set of tools. In this video, I'll be providing a quick overview of what to expect in the 2024 R2 releases of the Systems Toolkit, SDK 12.9, Orbit Determination Toolkit, OETK 7.9, as well as the RF Channel Modeler, version 12.9. So let's jump right in. This release continues to provide improved usability and extensibility when configuring the simulation environment as well as introducing a new method for collaborating across the enterprise. Users will notice a much simpler and more intuitive approach to applying access constraints to scenario objects. Firstly, an active constraints panel makes it easy to view all enabled constraints in a single location rather than needing to cycle through multiple UI panels. In addition, a new robust search capability enables you to find available constraints by name, acronym, or category. SDK recently introduced the ability to leverage 3D tiles not just as a convenient avenue to high visual acuity 3D data, but also as a valid obscuration source when performing intervisibility analysis between scenario objects. These datasets are now able to be used for setting altitude for vehicle routes, trajectories, coverage grid point placement, and other asset placement activity where the elevation information is being supplied by the streaming 3D tiles dataset directly. In addition, we have also added a new utility that is designed to convert raster elevation and imagery data such as TIFF and DEM into a 3D tile set for efficient rendering and analysis within SDK. This is particularly valuable when working with terrain and imagery data generated around planetary polar regions. This method mitigates the typical pinching of tiles that's often visible when performing mission simulations in these regions. ANSYS Minerva provides organizations with a full-scale simulation and process data management solution. With this latest release, SDK now natively supports direct integration with ANSYS Minerva so that SDK users can open, save, and update SDK mission models and simulations directly to their organization's Minerva ecosystem. Integrating your broader organization's multi-physics simulations with SDK's mission simulation capability offers a fast track to achieving the most efficient digital thread and accompanying engineering workflows. SDK 12.9 provides some new enhancements for modeling and simulation of advanced phased array antenna designs for RF communications and radar systems engineers. Users of ANSYS HFSS are familiar with its powerful antenna design capabilities, especially as it applies to phased array antennas. This SDK release now extends the integration of the two tools by natively supporting HFSS embedded element pattern files for use in communications and radar operations planning. SDK can now employ its own built-in beam forming techniques to achieve beam steering and adaptive nulling as dictated by each mission simulation. Additionally, SDK users now have access to ANSYS EMIT through a simplified plugin interface. Critically, this allows the co-site interference impacts of having multiple antennas co-mounted on the same platform to be evaluated against real-world mission constraints. <laughs> SDK's EOIR capability provides engineers with a synthetic representation of their electro-optical infrared sensor models by producing per-pixel scene representations of objects that are being tracked by optical and thermal imaging payloads. Given the complexity involved in this process, it's not surprising that it can be computationally very expensive. This latest release is the culmination of a multi-phase effort to refactor how the EOIR engine handles these complex simulations, and engineers will experience noticeably enhanced performance when they now approach the synthetic scene simulations for the EOIR payload within SDK. In addition to the overall performance improvements, EOIR now provides greater access to resulting data to enable finer granularity when assessing the performance of any modeled sensor. New features include per-pixel exporting capabilities to allow further exploration of individual spectral radiance values, peak spectral values, various target geometries, and more. These new data products provide engineers with quick access to metrics that help validate and verify system designs against mission requirements. Aircraft designers and mission planners often will utilize flight data collected from real-world trajectories in order to refine or validate expected performance profile. SDK now allows the ingestion of actual flight trajectories in order to derive an applicable performance model that may then be applied to the planning and testing of a particular airframe across multiple mission profiles. In addition, these imported trajectories may be appended to existing flight plans or easily moved to a completely different geographical region than where originally flown. Once created, 
These new procedures may then be employed in the same manner as any other aviator procedure when designing a new flight profile. SDK Aviator can also now be extended to model trajectory and guidance while affecting a simple ballistic motion. This type of flight profile is often associated with very high altitude aircraft which may need to fly optimized reentry types of trajectories or even low earth orbital rendezvous techniques, similar to a space shuttle. By utilizing Aviator's ballistic 3D and other navigation strategies, a vehicle's flight profile could mimic that of a maneuvering vehicle operating in low Earth orbit. SDK's Test and Evaluation Toolkit provides the capability for test engineers to import flight test data and statistically analyze and visualize the data sets in unique ways. This latest release includes improvements to TTK's track visualization options to allow users to denote markers along a vehicle's route based on metrics of their choosing. These markers can represent the times and locations when certain conditions are met, performance thresholds have been violated, or any other tracked condition that may be outside of specification or tolerance. These markers can now additionally be configured to change in appearance or styling based on sets of conditions for the metric of interest. For instance, changing colors, sizing, labeling, and other aspects of the visual representation to align with metric changes that therefore call specific attention to conditions of interest to the flight engineers. With this latest release of RF Channel Modeler, engineers can extend their RF Channel Modeling to now include simulated radar systems performance. Utilizing the same modeling and simulation approach as was previously utilized for communication systems, engineers can now define radar properties and utilize the embedded GPU-enabled shooting and bouncing rate capabilities to produce highly accurate synthetic radar scenes. ANSYS is enhancing RF Channel Modeler to create synthetic radar data for any collection geometry for any geospatial domain to support both synthetic aperture radar and inverse SAR data generation. You now have access to the underlying channel level signal metrics that allow for exploring the feasibility of radar systems to image, capture, and process data produced by tracking or imaging radar systems. And of course, this can be all accomplished in near real time. Additionally, users may now generate an unlimited amount of synthetic data that can be further leveraged for AIML training efforts. Developing proprietary detection algorithms and target identification routines, along with a host of other benefits, are realized by having access to large, realistic data sets which are able to be created to represent any number of simulated conditions and circumstances that may otherwise be difficult or even impossible to produce prior to real-world deployments. SysML state machine diagrams allow systems engineers to express complex behaviors in a powerful and easy-to-understand format. These views into a system's behavior aid communications across stakeholders at all levels, but generally are only accessible from inside of the modeling tool or as exported images embedded within documents created during the systems engineering process. For this release, the Behavior Execution Engine includes a model view within the SysML client that allows users to see and interact with state machines from a SysML project. Now users can view the state machine diagrams without the need to open or even have access to the modeling application. Additionally, when running their behavior execution engine simulations, elements of the diagrams will highlight as the simulation unfolds so that users can better understand which states are currently active, which states have been active, and which states might be visited next. With a simple click, users can set simulation breakpoints directly on the state machine diagram to pause the simulation for further investigation or debugging. Finally, users can now distinguish between different instances with the same behavior definition during execution because for each instance, a separate and independent view of the source state machine diagram can be generated. And last but certainly not least, this release introduces a new AI-based tool available for orbit analysts using the Orbit Determination Toolkit. This new quality assessment tool is being offered as part of DME's new Missions AI Plus tool. This new capability combines two models with AI algorithms encapsulating decades of subject matter knowledge and experience, allowing users to confidently assess the quality of their resulting ODTK orbit solutions. This also allows less experienced users to more immediately enjoy the benefits of using this industry-leading tool for the critical operational and flight dynamic systems design needs. With that, I will say thank you for watching this video. For additional details on these features, be sure to check out some of the additional video vignettes that are available through the ANSYS channel. 
These releases are available for download from AGI.com. And as usual, you can always reach out via support at AGI.com if you have questions regarding any of these capabilities. Mm -hmm.